Hello everyone, this is Sam and in today's video we're going to be talking about the update that has been announced. Indeed, on Tuesday we're getting a pretty big change to the way one of the core mechanics of the game was working and that core mechanic being loot. But first, let's listen to the intro. And now that we're back together, what I want to talk about is the global unidentified gear update. So if you guys weren't aware of exactly what happened, we're first going to be heading over to my web browser so that I can show you guys the forum post and read it alongside you. So now that we're having a look at it, global unidentified gear incoming March 26th. We've been working on a few major changes to loot drops at level 80, which will provide both quality of life improvement and help with the long-term health of the economy. I love it when they talk about the economy in that way. They're thinking that they can possibly fix some of the issues we've met. And actually they are right. An identified gear has created a lot of issues within the economy, mostly because it gave a specific edge to accounts that were already decked out in magic find and boosters. Indeed, you could basically get the fruit of what would have been multiple hours of farming for people just alone on your own, right? You could take thousands upon thousands of unidentified gear, open it at very high magic fine, and make literally hundreds of golds per hour. That was a thing, and that is still a thing for the next three days, and then it's finally gone, swept under the rug. Which was something that I wanted, because in my opinion, having such an incredible edge time-wise against farming is not something that we should have in a healthy economy. In a healthy economy, all ways of earning money should more or less balance out with each other, or at least that's the way I see it, right? But now is not the time to talk about how I think the economy should be, but to focus on what we have there on the web browser. Corteria in the heart of Magma region will now drop a identified gear rather than blues and greens. That's actually good. That's much better. The reasoning behind this is that we're going to have less clutter in the inventory. And that's something that we've been against in Gorsu for quite a while. A lot of people complain that we always had new containers here and there, blah, blah. This is actually something that contains gear, right? So it's much better than having to deal constantly with uh, bags of gear that become three uh, items each time you open one. I mean, that, that was horrible to deal with. Magic Fine will no longer affect the results of identifying an identified gear. This, this means that any account is put on the same level as the accounts that have been there since the start and which maxed out on MF. This is good. It means that farming and making gold out of farming, although it's probably going to be leveled across the board, is at least uh, like equal for everyone. Right, you won't have that much of an edge if you've been maxed out on your magic find. Only as the unidentified gear drops to you, whether it's gonna be blue, green, or yellow, right? But at least what you identify from it, that's gonna be the same for everyone. And I think that this was the best way to go about it. Unidentified gear reward tables are being changed to account for their availability across Turia, including the frequency of rare item drops in the Crystal Deer region is on the same frequency as rare items for the rest of Tyria. That's good, because we got so many of these, right? So many of these rares, and I didn't quite like that. Removal of Eyes of Colmia, Congealed Patrices, Pulsing Brand Sparks from salvaging the gear. Because there were two ways of using an identified gear. Either you identified it, in which case it became an actual piece of gear, or you simply salvaged it in case you would get salvaged materials and also Eyes of Kamir, Conjure Patrice, and Pulsing Brand Sparks. And these were, were not too bad, right? Getting these was pretty alright. However, I think that what we have right there is the proper way to deal with the stuff. 
And these items uh, shouldn't have been available in the quantity that they were, because they had no interest whatsoever. They were all below the vendor price they didn't even have, right? That's not good. Like, I mean, two copper for something that drops from the new expansion, that's not the way you want to manage your economy. They're fixing it, and that is good. The now drop from the Crystal Desert Loot Tables. That's fine by me. It's actually maybe gonna put some life again in these maps, which I'm all for. Addition of fine of Master World Reclaimed Weapons for the Hoth Magma region to identify the Elite Tables. I don't think this was really needed. I think the price of the uh, Reclaimed Weapon Plates was pretty fine, but so be it. I don't think it's going to have that much of an impact. This means that an identified gear has the same value to everyone once it has dropped, regardless of your current magic fund. That's good. That's literally what I just said, and I think that's good. And if you've been playing in areas that dropped it and you were identifying the items, your overall chances to receive exotic or legendary precursors will decrease. I mean, that's not too bad. It's also going to fix the exotic market and the precursor market. And I think that this is good. And if you were playing in, uh, in areas that didn't drop an identified gear, your chances are going up. That's pretty cool, because it means that across all of Tyria, across all the expansions, we're going to have the same reasons to play the content, right? Same incentives. That's great. Now, what I said about exotics, this, this actually has more impact on other markets than you might think. Because less exotics, and to a certain extent less rares, is also going to mean that the economy might finally recover. Ectos will stop being that cheap, most possibly. We won't have to sell them anymore the way they are. And flipping exos is actually probably going to become not only easier, but definitely worthwhile. Because right now it's a good flip. It's a good way to make some cash here and there, but it's not the best, right? And it's actually gonna get better. Might still not be the best, but definitely better. Then, I think that there are some other points that we can be talking about. Like, the fact that Magic Find no longer has an effect also means that we're gonna have much less exotic runes that are gonna enter the market, especially the cheap ones. Because less rares, less exotics, right? And this means that we are finally gonna have good balance on the economy of the cheaper runes and sigils. Because right now you have some of them that are so cheap there is no interest whatsoever. And you have some of them that drop so often that you have no interest to craft them whatsoever. This is changing. We are gonna be getting incentives to buy them, flip them, craft them, salvage them. And that's great, because it's gonna put a second win of energy in the current economy. So I am very hyped about this update. Now we'll be looking exactly into what's gonna be changing, because I want to make it good, to get something worthwhile out of this. And with this, we're concluding the video. I've said quite a bit of stuff. I think I've been going on for quite a while as well. But this covers everything that I could think about when I read what was announced and thought about it over multiple days. If you guys have any other insights, you're more than welcome to share them under the video. And if you want to take all of that conversation a step further, we have a Discord, the link being in the description. And now, I wish every single one of you some happy trading and to get rich.